Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another shed hunting video. So what the shed tour is, um, the last two years, my girlfriend Bridget and I have gone on a shed hunt for like 10 days straight during her spring break. So we plan to do that this year, but due to bad weather and a ton of snow and a lot of our favorite spots, Bridget opted to go to Florida and enjoy the sunshine out there, which I totally don't blame her. It hasn't been the best of weather here in Utah. So we decided to come down to the desert. I'm with my little brother Walker today. We are looking for sheds. We're in search of elk sheds more than anything, but typically down here, we will always find a deer shed or two. So let's see if we can turn something up. What's that? Have you seen this like flat sagebrush over here? Yeah, you're probably on the ridge and you can look down and see it. We'll uh, turn this on when we get something interesting. Probably a big elk shed soon. Well, we're in the zone. We've got old elk rubs, some fresh tracks, and you can see right here where a bull bedded. So his tracks seem to want to leave this way down into this draw. You can see the tracks going in the sand. So I'm going to wait for Walker and show him this to kind of give him an idea of what a fresh track looks like. And then we'll kind of take from there. Well, well, got the icebreaker. Oh man, Chalk City. Pink. <laughs> I think we'll leave that one there. It's made it this long. It deserves to stay. There's probably a reason why it's never been spotted. It's pretty dang tough to see. Well guys, we are about two hours into this hike with no luck. Tracks are slim, but we cut them. We cut fresh tracks. So I feel like has to be some sheds in here. It's just whether or not we can weed them out and find them. It's pretty thick cedars. There's not a ton of opportunity for glassing. So it's mostly just uh, stumbling on them, to be honest with you. Looking for sign, trying to find when they're where they're spending most of their time. And then, uh, you know, spotting them. I'm sure we walk by many of them. So anyways, that's the update right now. Okay guys, we are finally making a little bit of progress. It's been a while since I've done a little update, but we came over this ridge and I told Walker, I said, hey, let's get high and glass up there, or glass down to this little sage flat. So we got up on the hill and right where I wanted to glass from, Chalk City, just an old pink, I have not seen elk antlers this old for a long time, but it's better than nothing. So for now, I'm going to pack it. And then while we were up there, I glassed down and glassed a white elk shed. It looks to be pretty good. So we're going to go check that out too. Yeah, we're hoping for hard white stuff from this last season. We don't want to find chalks. Well, we'll take it, but it'd be nice to know that there's some stuff in here last year. There's some rubs going on in here. Is that what you saw when you first started glassing? Remember, you're like, there's a fresher rub down there. Uh, no, a little further I saw a fresher one. So, <laughs> rubs like this are common. They're not typically brand new, but you can see that they've been in here during winter months, shredding up the juniper trees. Hey, hey, look what we got here. Fresh elk trap. Big brown set in here somewhere. Yeah, we're gonna go pick this up, then Walker and I are really gonna zigzag this little section. Holy smokes, it's looking good. Holy crap, there's the match. Oh. Yes! Yes! Oh my god. Oh man, we couldn't see this. Holy crap, what a giant. Dude. Yes, Walker. Holy Look at that, right in the wide open. That's definitely last year. Mm. Big five point. Heck That's yeah. not even the one I glassed. This is the one I glassed. Yeah, holy moly. Just shows you how much Dang! Just a giant five. Holy crap. That's gotta get, that gets me so excited seeing a white set. Walker, that's what we came out here for. <laughs> wow, what a tank. Isn't it crazy that we couldn't see that? Like, yeah, that's, a, that's how easy they can hide. You can glass and sometimes you can't see them. Look at this. I think that, that other side's bigger, but man how about the burr on that bad boy he's heavy man yeah, he's thick. i can't wait to pick these up but we're gonna take some photos but check this out right side left side right there okay we're going all right guys pick up time my favorite part i'm gonna take this off because 
don't need it right now. Oh, it almost sucks to move these things out of the sand. They've been sitting there all year. Dude, that's heavy. That is heavy. Whoa. That is one of the baddest five points I've ever seen. Look at just, look at the shape. The big third, the big unders. Still got a little bit of color on this side, and that royal is super sweet. And the other side's better, so let's go. Match him up. how they get them where they get them sometimes under the tree like that. Dude, oh. this side's better. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, dude, that is so legit. What a tank. Look at that, Walker. Is that cool? Dude, holy smokes. I told you we wouldn't find a ton, but we had the chance to find some big ones. That third is cool, huh? Yeah, those forests are freaking awesome. How about those unders, huh? Oh my gosh, man, that looks so cool when you have them up. Yeah, he's sweet. He's just a cool bull. Wow. They're heavy. They're super dense. This one's still got some color. He's kind of under that tree in the shade, so he's got a little bit of Hey, he's still color, got some brown on it. Yeah, though, they'd clean up nice if I wanted to color them, but you know, I honestly like these big giant whites. Let's see the burrs on them. See, you want to see the burrs? You want to see the good stuff, huh? <laughs> Dang. Holy Big smokes, heavy burrs dude. and they're kind of dished out. That's an old bull. Wow. We're going to leave them right here and Walker and I are just going to start working this pocket and just see if we can stir up anything else. But it feels good to come down in here and walk home with this this just made the trip for me and honestly the goal is to get walker to find something maybe this guy's browns are in here hopefully if they are walker will pick them up but we're gonna set these out here and zigzag all right guys i guess the old zigzag trick is paying off because i just found a white set small i wasn't expecting to see something this small down here but apparently this bull was down here with the big boys last year let me show you there's the one side, <laughs> cute little guy, and the other one's over there. So one side, and right over here, the other side, just like that. Got lucky and got the right line. Walker and I are trying to work together to comb through some of the sagebrush, and it's funny, sometimes you just get the perfect line, and sometimes you don't. So I got lucky this time. I'm gonna pick these up. All right, together again, they will be Man, for such a small bull, he sure shed close. Nice little five by five. Hey, all the big ones start out like this and grow into be big elk. So hopefully this guy makes it and he continues to shed out here. That'd be nice. You got a brown? Yeah, scary, Dude, in the, yeah, in the tree. Holy smokes, that is so sweet Dang. yes <laughs> yeah walker i'm so glad you chose that line <laughs> oh my gosh it's upside down that's a leaner and here's his tracks i was kind of confused i was walking up like this and i just saw the the end you know I was like uh-huh old white chalky one then i see that brand new burr like oh my gosh brownie yes walker <laughs> we knew there'd be a brown right here yes and we have his tracks. Six point. So did he shed the other side this way? Which his tracks are right there. See how old his tracks are? Yeah, I can barely see him. So he's an early shedder. Should I try to follow that track line? Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy when you said you got a brown. Yeah, that's hey. cool like that too, huh? Oh man, he has the same type of royal as the white set, but he's not as heavy. Yeah. Definitely. Look at this guys picture perfect brown in the tree leaning up Walker's first antler he's found for like what we figure 10 or 11 years Dude, Yeah, 11 plus probably <clears throat> This is unreal. Dude. I'm so stoked for you. Especially a brownie. Uh-huh. I was holding out <laughs> I know I picked up this set. He's like that's fine man. Have them. I'm looking for browns <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some photos guys, but man, I'm happy for my brother. Oh, so pumped here we go, Walker with the pickup. Look how it, it like s fell in there, crashed in the tree, and then the main beam just went in the mud and eventually
pushed out. So Walker's gonna pick the baby up. Are right, y'all ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> this is, like I said, Walker has not found a shed for many moons. Dude, so long ago since I was wearing sweatpants. Yeah. <laughs> and I pretty much had to beg him to come with me. I mean, he wanted to come, but he had work and stuff, and he got it off. Let's get this freaking beast. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yes, dude. Oh, finally, brown. That is just picture perfect, huh? He really is. Beautiful Pretty. Six point. I mean, not a giant, but gosh. Here, come out in the sun right here. Yeah, turn him sideways. Yeah, man, he is pretty. Look at that main beam. Royal is really cool. <laughs> a little broke off. Yeah, he's busted. That's all right, though. Let's see the burr. burr oh, man, white as could be. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so awesome. I was so happy when you said brownie, and I was like, <laughs> you can't be kidding me. Yeah, I ain't going to pull no joking right there. It's okay, guys. serious business. Like I said, Walker wants to follow his tracks out this way, which I don't blame him. Those have to be them. The thing is, there was probably snow here when he shed, so there's sometimes when he can't see the track, then the next thing you know, they're clear as day so why don't you take that line walker i'll grab these and holler at me if you see them man am i stoked for him that is exactly what i wanted to do is come out here have a good time with my brother and both of us find sheds and both of us have he's found the only brown and i found a big white set and a, cu a couple small ones what a trip already so we got a long walk back to the truck but We'll make it work. Walker's getting energized. Guys, these are the new Mountain Ops Hush Signature Series flavored Ignite Trail Packets. These are going on sale April 1st. If this is after April 1st, 2019, go get you some. They're good. What do you think of the flavor? Oh, too good. <laughs> so I got some too. I've got, this whole thing is full lemonade Ignite. We're going to need it. Looks like it's going to be sunny. We just threw on some sunscreen, actually. And uh, getting some sugars. I usually pack some candies. I got some Airheads and some Starbursts. Just like to get sugars in me as I keep hiking. And then we've got some food like Ritz and other things like oysters. So let's go find some. We just got to get into the zone. We haven't really hit the zone yet. I got the right line this time, and the thing is, I almost went too wide and passed them. But I think we're making just like the perfect grid. Walker and I have done a great job of just staying parallel with each other and making a grid together. There they are. Oh, they're dark. Ooh, they're bloody bases too. Holy crap, that is so cool. <laughs> 